Hey everyone, it's Angela Irene with Aged Goodness. Thank you so much for being here today. Today we're going to open another box. This one is done by my mom. If you're brand new to our channel, my mom has been so kind to open and clean and sort the boxes. So when we open it, you're looking at clean jewelry, sorted jewelry, but I've never seen it. So you're going to get my reaction as well. This one she did back in May. And it looks like it's been here since uh, February of 21. So it's time to open this. I don't know what's in this box. It says on the side 16.2 pounds. So I'm thinking we're just going to rip the proverbial bandage off or not. It's duct tape. Boy, this is some good duct tape. <laughs> okay, we're going to start off with patented press and seal. Oh, hey. Oh, you know what? I I think I remember when we bought this. I think this was in the front of the pictures. Okay, look at all of this good stuff. Wow, 16.2. Okay, we have a lot to get through. Let's get going. Let's start with these two. They were on the very top. She had marked that they were marked 14K Italy. Okay, these are absolutely stunning. They are gorgeous. Look at the size. If these were 14 karat, wow. But, oh, look. Oops. Oops. <laughs> they are not. They could be gold plated. Uh, you know, who knows? But in terms of actual beautiful wearable jewelry, they're stunning. So, you know, I'm not mad at them. Would have been nicer had they been gold, but they still are really pretty. Well, let's get started on this humongous box. I've been asked by a few people if I would not only price the items, but number them. So this is almost going to be like a sale unboxing all at one time. You know what? We're just going to go with it, right? All right, these first two, it never fails. We always seem to have a box with flip-flops. I mean, oh, so cute. This one is gold tone with rhinestones. It says Friends and 03 on it. It has this cute little chain. You know, both of these look new. I mean, they look new. Um, this one is 21 and a half to 23 and a half inches. And well, so is this one. Uh, so this is number one. It'll be a dollar. This is going to be number two. This is a silver tone. And this has the green rhinestones. Again, Friends 03. A again, same size. Also looks new. A dollar. This is number two. And number three is Avon. Oh, where's the, there it is. Right there with the little tag. And it's just a silver tone with these little acrylic beads here and kind of that salmony orange color um, pinky color uh, i'm just gonna throw out color names apparently uh, this one is 17 inches and it's number three and it's a dollar i tell you this press and seal had a little bit of everything item number four okay this will be three dollars this is a silver tone rhinestone heart and it is marked monet very interesting has a nice little silver tone chain, 16 to 18 inches, so we'll say $3 for that one. Item number five is 1928. I have ink all over me. I'm so sorry. I don't know what is going on with me today. Uh, gold tone, little rhinestones, beautiful, you know, just period. I just, I love their period their style i just love that uh it's three dollars item number i am gonna have to get this ink off of me good grief i'm so sorry gang six is a dollar it is a locket older it's marked on the bail 120 14k and so it's a dollar and again more unusual stuff from a press and seal Okay, now because I'm just going through this like you are, nothing is tested. This little beautiful little dainty chain, it's marked 925. 
and then on the little star it is marked 925 as well let's see if I can get this on the back of my hand see a little bit better the size and it's a it's a little solid nice little hefty star going on the chain is 16 to 18 and a quarter and this is going to be item number seven eight dollars item number eight also going to be eight dollars this piece is marked crements it is 16 and a quarter look at that beautiful little dainty chain and then we have the faux pearl in the basket uh, you know I have seen these all over the board you know usually in the 20s I've seen them as high as 50 not sure what's going on with that um, but it really is in, in beautiful condition it's eight dollars it'll be item number eight and okay I think one of the steals of the show is probably going to be this one I haven't had a watch chain in forever and a day this one is marked swank it is a gorgeous gold tone I don't think anybody used this the only thing I am missing though is the little carabiner piece that usually is on this side that the watch hangs on so um, all you need to do is put a little carabiner you know right there for your watch but the actual chain itself I, I'm telling you it it looks like it just probably sat in somebody's uh, jewelry box it's gorgeous uh, nine dollars uh, look it up look at the pricing for this it's insanity out there but I think nine dollars is a good fair price and it'll be item number nine all right we're done with press and seal let's move on to some earrings item number 10 gold tone post back faux pearls really cute a dollar 11 these have articulation these are post back faux pearls these are a dollar 12 these have French hooks little tiny acrylic beads aren't they cute these are adorable number 12 is a dollar and 13 just has some really cute articulation with these smaller earrings these are adorable too also post back number 13 they're a dollar this next group also a dollar each these have kind of like an they look older I think these were probably much shinier but they have a great look to them great patina they are post back look at these rhinestones I mean that blue is popping of course post back uh, these are 14 this is number 15 this is number 16 we have some glass beads and then like the this is almost like a moonstone look to them almost like a cat's eye effect but they are acrylic and these are on the French hook and these look like gemstones but to me they look like just nice acrylic pieces so they're not really heavy and again these are on French hooks so you've got 14 15 16 and 17 each one one dollar there were some great earrings in here all right number 18 take a look at these we have enameling and then we have this great you know what that gold with the sparkle inside is just fabulous they're post back they definitely look a little older gold tone I think they're great they're two dollars number 19 these are glass beads and they look like they have little flowers on the inside these are beautiful gold tone French hook number 19 these are two dollars these post back enameled ships wheel with the anchor motif in the middle that is fabulous they are also post back this is number 22 dollars and you know what I would have bet my life on it these were going to be either Monet or Napier don't have any marks on them but the original backs are not with them either and they may have been marked on the backs but these are in beautiful condition nice heavy weight they're gorgeous with this black inlay here this is item number 21 and this pair also two dollars and these next three are stunning too item number 22 these are acrylic on the top and glass on the bottom so we have the 
mirror finish on the one side and the clear look through on the front. Look at these. Are these not beautiful? Number 22, $2. 23, boy, these have some heft to them. We've got the black rhinestones, white in the middle, and then we have this fabric that runs through. These are on French hooks. These look brand new. Item 23, $2. And 24, look at these rhinestones. Look at these here. I mean, oh. And the articulation, post back. They're gorgeous too. Item 24, $2. Item number 25. These are really long tassel earrings. And you know what? They're in still pretty good shape. I think they probably need a little misting and a little hanging to get out the, you know, the little wrinkling we've got going on here. But really, these are still in very nice shape. This is item number 25. This will be a dollar. Item number 26, these are faux pearls. They've got a great gold color to them. I mean, these are in still very nice condition. Item number 26, these are a dollar. Item number 27, look at these hearts. And you could see pattern in them. These again, I, I don't know if they've ever been worn. They, are, they look like in beautiful condition. These are $2, item number 27. These certainly have an older look to them. Look at the, like a throwback. I wouldn't be surprised if these weren't like uh, 1928, you know, style here. Look at these. The rhinestones are gorgeous and the drop, the articulation. These are great. Item number 28, these are also $2. And we're going to end the earrings off with some sassiness right here. These cloisonne. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be peacocks. But they have that older backing. I mean, but they look uh, pretty darn new. So, I'm not sure, but I'm loving those. Those are $3. These are clip-ons. They still look like they are factory uh, hooked together with the little tie wrap thing here. And these are Monet. So look at these. Aren't these cool? This pair is $4. It's number 30. And item number 31, I'm sorry, but these are probably some of the sassiest earrings I have seen in a very long time. A uh, look at look at the length I mean this is I mean holy moly look at this <laughs> you've got the articulation they are post back okay gang these are these weigh you know quite a little bit so just keep that in mind but sassy oh my gosh four dollars item number 31 Next up, a bag of bracelets. Let's get this open and see what's all in this one. I like grouping, so let's do this. Item number 32, this is going to be the orange and then the green acrylic. This one has little bits of shell on it. And this one has, you know, everything from clear to a couple of different shades of green. Nice stretch. So we're gonna say a dollar for this pair. Item number 33, this is also going to be a dollar and you're going to get all of these stretch bracelet with the different beads. These are mostly acrylic. I think these little teeny teeny ones, they may be glass, but the majority of them are going to be acrylic. I think that makes a nice combination. So 33, this group is a dollar and 34 is kind of like the boho. We've got wooden. We have these little uh, little charms hanging off. This one uh, has both the blue and the gold. I mean, this is a really cute little group too. Also stretch. Item number 34, and this group's a dollar. All right, item number 35. These are, these kind of look like they might still be factory wrapped together. Looks like there are three individual bracelets. Features the magnetic hematite, 
and the silver tone and then the acrylic beads really I mean, that's a nice striking and i think perfect for spring that's 35 two dollars these two feature glass beads item number 36 this one has the silver tone going on there with the random glass beads and this one is just loaded with absolutely fantastic color beads a little you know what i think this has been worn quite a little bit it does have some nice stretch still left in it but to me it has a it it has a little bit um to me it feels a little stretched it doesn't feel as tight as it could be but i think lots of life left in that and if not take it for the beads 36 two dollars and then these two look older to me especially this one with the frosted beads and then this one with the opaque and just gorgeous almost like a champagne color i mean these are these are i think they're really pretty together and they're really really gorgeous separately but i think together they work nicely uh 37 this duo also two dollars well these next three are a little different this one is a like a ring sleeve and this goes across the back of your hand and then you have the bracelet the bracelet is seven to eight and three quarter i know these have a very awful name and i'm not going to say what these are usually referred as so we're going to go with the ring bracelet combo uh, this is item number 38 gold tone really pretty it's two dollars number 39 this is an anklet you can have it on this side or you can have it with the little bumps up it's really pretty uh, it's ten and a half inches it's two dollars and then item number 40 you know this one is 10 inches so it's kind of like a charm anklet it has the letter a it has this i think that might be like a uh, i don't know maybe a dolphin or some big fish and it's skagway mm, i don't know and then shipping or excuse me shopping so you know kind of some interesting stuff each one is two dollars and we have some beauties here look at this gold tone the rhinestones with the halo over the blue this is a it's a beautiful piece i'm gonna say number 41 two dollars item number 42 features a shambhala style closure looks like we have hematite and we have the really pretty cross in the yellow rhinestones and then these yellow encrusted beads number 42 this is two dollars and item number 43 i love this piece look at all of the multi gemstones that are woven in this piece i mean woohoo uh, nice chunky fabulous item number 43 it's three dollars and this box just had a wide variety this one is definitely an older style it is almost like a rutilated quartz looking uh, acrylic and you've got the clear rhinestones it is stretch it has a lot of life left in it and it's item number 44 it's a dollar item 45 rhinestones also stretch this one is I'm like an antiqued bronze looking you know color on the back here beautiful with the greens i think this is so perfect for spring coming up item number 45 it's a dollar and 46 silver tone bracelet a lot of presents great for layering uh, it's seven and a quarter with a spring ring closure and it is one dollar okay, item number 48 this bangle has some great work almost looks like a, a gold stone but it's all like enameling going on with the pink the blue the green i mean it's really pretty it's about two and a third inches across and it's item number 48 it's a dollar item number 49 clamper we have the rhinestones in amongst the enameling here this is in beautiful shape it's item number 49 it's two dollars and item number 50 i love this style look at the work on the end caps here 
Uh, this one is eight and a quarter with the toggle. You can see almost like that Madeira citrine looking rhinestone running down the middle. This piece is just stunning. And it's $2 and it's item number 50. And the last three in this bag, item number 51, this feels like paint over wood. It certainly could be plastic all the way through, but just from the texture, I think this might be like a balsa wood. So this is a cream color with this blue design. It's a dollar, number 51. 52, oh, this is so dainty and so pretty. Gold tone with that crossover design. It's a dollar. And number 53, man alive, is this thing gorgeous? I don't think it's been worn. Look at the ends. I mean, come on, this is gorgeous. And look at that pattern, that braided goodness. It's 53 and it's $2. All right, now these two pieces were in a box all by themselves. And from looking at these beads here, we have a pair of earrings that I think e either direct match or at least would match pretty darn nicely. So check out the earrings we had already. This is a two-piece set. This necklace has the triple layer down here of the acrylic beads and the dyed shell. Uh, this one is in silver tone, has a nice generous extender, 18 to 21 and a half inches. It has the matching bracelet that is right at eight inches, but because of the links, you could certainly shorten it up just a little bit. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, perfect for spring coming up. This is going to be item number 54. This duo is $3. Okay, this box just keeps on giving. There are some weird, wacky, cool stuff in here. Okay, 55. Okay, you know me and ribbon. Ugh. But these beads, aren't they cool? And that blue, this, this robin's egg blue. I don't know how the monitor is picking this up, but loving them. Um, you know, I first, when I looked at them, I thought they were acrylic, but I think these might be painted wood. So if you don't like the ribbon, like I don't like the ribbon, um, I take it for the beads. So number 55 is a dollar. Okay. 56 is cool beans. This looks like acrylic that is around a piece of wood. And then you have these like suede or faux suede. And then you have these two pieces at the end. I mean, this is super, super fun. And this is like 26 inches around there. This one, I think, is like 30-something, um, you know, with the ribbon, depending on where you tie it. So I'm going to say for the orange one, $2, just because it is so funky cool. I love it. It's item 56. All right, item number 57, this is on the standard cord. It's probably 18 inches, and it's the pink carved shell. It is beautiful. It's a dollar, item number 57. 58, I love this. I, it Artisan made, it looks like. You know, it certainly could be commercially made, but it has that look, right? A little bit of wear going on in the back, so somebody did wear this. But the front is too beautiful not to put up. And it has the beautiful coordinating uh, acrylic beads on cord. This one is $2. This color is amazing. And then we have the, looks like a Venturine heart. And you can see it on the, you know, it's a little over an inch. It's puffy. See that it's not, you know, it is not a flat little heart. And it's $2 and it's item 59. Okay, these ones are kind of like all over the, the board. I'm sorry about that. Okay, item number 60, you're going to get two of the wax corded necklace with two of the pendants. These look like artisan made over uh, Scrabble tiles. And this one says uh, Ravenclaw Quidditch. And then this one has a quote um, about Harry making uh, choices that people... Uh, are their choices. So this duo will be number 60. It'll be $2 for the pair. 61, this looks artisan made, 
looks like uh, perhaps copper and brass with these figures. Let's see if I can put on there if you can, I don't know if you can see that maybe on the back of my hand. But it looks like we have four people. And it's not signed. But it's pretty cool. Yes, I like that. So 61 and the cord is shot. Just ugh. Uh, 61 is two dollars. And 62 is this dragon around the glass ball. Let's see the face. A very cool piece and the cord is in, in okay shape uh, number 62 that one is two dollars okay the first three chains these are all marked GM China and stainless steel on the clasps they all kind of have that rose gold copper look to them and normally I would charge you know more for stainless steel but these three have a little bit of a lighter weight to them they're not like uber uber heavy so I think they would be perfect. I mean, they do have weight, don't get me wrong, but I think they'd be great for layering. And because of the uh, length difference, and I'll tell you about that, these could actually be a, a set. Uh, this piece is 20 inches, and it looks like a modified snake. So this is the shortest. This one is the longest. And to me, it's almost uh, they, it's almost like a basket weave. It's kind of a different look. And this is uh, 24 inches, and it's lighter. I mean, it's airy because if we have all of this, you know, um, open space between the links. And then the last one, to me, looks like uh, this one is 22 inches. Uh, this would be the middle piece. Uh, with the different patterns. Now this one has looks like almost it's not tarnished but it it doesn't have quite the pop that this one does so I'm not sure you know so I'm only going to ask a dollar for each one of these uh, 63, 64, and 65. Okay these next three all silver tone are uh, the first one nice lobster claw and it has a nice big presence to it. This piece is 22 inches. It has enough weight to know you're wearing it, but light enough to layer it beautifully. Uh, this one's not marked. It's not marked stainless. It's not marked by anybody. So we're just going to say a dollar for that one. Now item 67 is marked. It's marked S Steel. And then it is marked Mako Link. And I mean, it looks like a standard little link here, but it has a great feel. You can tell the quality is definitely stepped up here. Uh, this one is 23 and about 7 eighths. It's just shy of 24 inches. And this is $2.67. Now 68, oh, man alive, look at this snake. It is large, it's in charge. It is 29 and a half inches. If this were stainless, I'd be asking definitely more than this, but it's not marked. So we're going to say $2 for 68. And the last two from this group, this one is 34 to 37 inches with this generous extender. We have a link followed by these great designer inspired stations, both in the open and in the solid form it's a lighter gold tone it's not really in your face it is oh my gosh it really is it's beautiful it it would be great all on its own but i think it would also go very nicely uh with a layered look two dollars for 69 and item 70 this is 26 and a half inches this in your face gold tone rope is just absolutely fabulous look at this twisted rope it has that Monet kind of look to it. It's, um, it's, you know, it's got some presents. It's number 70. It's $2. 
We're moving on to item number 71. This is a 16 and a half inch. These look like sponge coral barrel beads. We have two, we have one on the side and one on this side. They look like tulip mother of pearl beads. And then we have a few of the oval beads. And then this little group down here looks like, especially the one in the middle could be uh, almost like an angel skin coral. And then these two are more like a white. And here are the size of the beads on the hand. And then here are the beautiful other beads. I'm going to say $8 for this one, item number 71. 72 is 34 inches of these small beads. Now, to me, it, from the first look, they almost look like red jasper. Um, you know what? I'm not even sure they are cold to the touch they warm up really quickly so i mean they could even be like you know a man-made but they you know really look at this i think these two go actually very nice together uh number 72 is two dollars and i think these pair up nicely too item 73 these would be mother of pearl rounds um these have a very unusual finish they are not polished they look rough cut well not rough cut they almost look like a satin finish so i think they just cut these and you can see all the mother of pearl you know pop out of here and then but they didn't polish the whole piece so it it makes the mother of pearl pop you know the little pieces like this one pop even more so i think that's pretty cool uh, it's 22 inches, definitely looks vintage, um, so I'm going to say $5 on that one. Now, 74, I think, actually would go nicely as a layering piece with that. This has small seed beads. It has these great, uh, very iridescent glass beads, and this is 34 inches, it's beautiful too and i really do i think these two look really nicely together and that one is two dollars the next three make a great trio too this one is 15 and a half inches when i first saw it i thought oh those are going to be some great acrylic but you know what i think these might actually be glass they are nice and cold to the touch and they have a nice little clink uh if you kind of tap them together silver tone that beautiful ocean blue. This one is $2, number 75. 76, this piece is 48 inches. It has great acrylic beads and these small, just tiny, tiny little seed beads and single, single strand. It's $2, number 76. 77 is 60 inches of fabulous seed bead goodness the greens the blues that uh that kind of coppery brown really gorgeous springs coming up number 77 also two dollars all right let me tell you these four as a suite would be absolutely fantastic but i think these two and these two are definitely great combinations 78 is 17 and a half inches of graduated hematite look at those rounds with that nice large one in the center it is a lobster claw silver tone clasp it is three dollars and i think it would pair beautifully with number 79 for two dollars this is 40 to 42 inches look at the chain then it has four glass black beads i mean these two together look at this gorgeous this one is two dollars item number 80 is 20 inches of mirrored glass square beads and small spacer beads and it has a toggle closure but look at the beads they're gorgeous it's two dollars and i think that would pair beautifully with number 81 this is 35 inches of acrylic beads, black and silver. It's an endless necklace. There are, there is no closure, but look at these two together. 
gorgeous. Okay, item number 82, I believe, is an actual rosary and not a rosary-inspired necklace. It does have the spacing. Let me pull this through. As you can see here, I'm kind of twisted, sorry about that. But you can see the spacing. And then we come down here and the medallion of Mary is Mark Sterling. And then with the final drop where the cross would be, it is blank. So you can add your favorite piece to this. These are pink glass beads with silver tone end caps through the entire piece. It is absolutely beautiful. And then, like I said, the medallion here is marked sterling. And then you just need to add your favorite piece at the end. So we're going to ask $8 for this. It's number 82. And Valentine's is coming up. Item number 83, man alive. This is a nice piece. It's 17 to 19 inches with the extender. It is a heavy, beautiful silver tone chain. And then look at the heart. It's almost like a free design type heart. Not symmetrical. It is gorgeous. This chain is heavy. It looks beautiful. It's $3. It's number 83. Number 84 is a triple strand, triple heart. Um, this is almost like a Stella and Dot heart. This is an open heart. And this one says the way to a friend's home is never long. Uh, it's a lighter weight piece. Uh, still in pretty good shape. It does have a little, um, you know, like a little wear here and there. It's not really wear. It's more like discoloration. Um, but it's not much. So we're going to say $2 for that one. Number 84. This box, I tell you, it has a little bit of everything. 85 is a 16 inch dainty necklace. It has a spring ring, silver tone, and then we have these beautiful faux pearls. And then these pink pearls, or well, pink beads in between. Uh, it is on what I believe is silk. Very dainty, beautiful work. It's $1. 86 is 16 and a quarter inches. It has this great gold tone lobster claw. And this features glass pink cat's eye beads and then these great floral glass beads. I think this would be so fantastic for Valentine's Day. It's not even funny. Um, 86, three dollars. 87 is two-piece set. It's a 16-inch necklace with this gray tiger's eye, and then the matching French hook-style earrings. It's on a black chain, black lobster claw, and then it has the rhinestones around the bezel. I mean, the this is a cute little set, and this is also 16 inches. And it is $2 for the set. This box, again, it's just filled with fun stuff. We have number 88. It is 18 and a half to 20 and a half in the silver tone chain. And then look at this really, really big. I mean, look at this. This rhinestone pendant. It's massive. Lots of fun. It's a dollar. It is number 88, 89, 17 to 20 and a half inches, silver tone, like a Rolo chain, and this really cute enameled pumpkin. Doesn't look like, you know, he's having a bad time, does it? He's $2, uh, number 89. Number 90 is 24 inches. I think this is like new old stock. I would have bet my life on it. This chain was going to be marked Korea. And look at this cloisonne style. You can feel all of the metal work. And look at all of the colors. The shape is very different. I mean, it's beautiful. It's number 90 and it's $5. Item number 91 is $2. It is 34 inches. 
of fun. It has a beautiful chain and then it has these reminding of like a floor to leave, but they're not. Uh, almost like a clover and you have the primary colors of the blue, green, yellow, and red. Well, obviously green is not a primary color, but you know what I meant. These are your, your basic standard colors for spring. I mean, look at those. Aren't they cute? I think this would be a great standalone, great layering piece. It's $2. Item number 92. This is a four layer on the bottom. I tell you what, uh, we have chain, we have little glass beads, we have the faux druzy with the rhinestones, and then more chain. And up here, we have beads that have gone into it. I mean, this is just a fabulous piece. And here is that faux druzy with the rhinestones. I mean, look at the... The color is fantastic and it's three dollars. It's number 92. And again, the box just keeps giving totally different styles. Item number 93 is 19 to 20 and three quarters. Look how big this gold tone chain is. I mean, it's massive, but take a look at this pendant. That's two inches of faceted glass. It's on both sides. It's gorgeous. It is in really nice shape. Lobster claw. Three dollars. Number 93. Number 94 is this kind of like chain mail look to it. It's 19 inches. It is not overly heavy, but it's not lightweight either. You have both of, you know, it's kind of like a silver tone and like an antique, almost like an antique bronze. And it is 19 inches, but because of this chain, you could make it as short as you need it to be. It's a dollar, number 94. And here we go again, just more unique stuff out of this box. I love this box. All right, these are all enameled drops. Uh, this necklace is 18 to 21 and a quarter. Has a little lobster claw. It has a muted gold finish. And in between each of the drops is a little bit of chain and because there is some wear on this piece on the back and I think some of the chain may may be a little discolored I'm not really sure um, but I think we're just gonna go with two dollars especially if you just take the drops to repurpose some really neat stuff here 96 this piece is four rows of the tube beads the peacock color, probably freshwater pearls, and I'm not sure if these chips are clear quartz or if they're glass. Either way, absolutely wonderful. 17 to 19 and a quarter inches. This is a beautiful piece. It's four dollars. It's number 96. Let's have some fun with some statement pieces. The very first one's 97. This piece is an 18 to 21 inches, features the blue and the red and this gold that is really absolutely dynamite. Don't think it's ever been worn. Thing looks brand new. And we're only gonna ask $2 for it. Number 98 has the black, the white, and the cream. Also gold tone. This one is 16 to 19 inches. This does not have a ton of articulation, this piece. Um, the pieces are individually attached, but not too much swinging. So I think this one's going to stay pretty much where you put it. It is number 98, also $2. Now this one is almost like the end-all be-all of all statement pieces. There are faux pearl, faux, faux black, this faux, like, it's almost like a smoky blue, but more on the smoky gray gold tone overall the pink and one more almost like a salmony pink and the opalite looking stones i mean this is just and there's a lot of articulation here there i mean this piece moves around quite a bit uh, it is 20 to 23 inches gold tone here is the back again in absolutely fantastic shape this 
is like almost like the mother of all statement pieces. Uh, it's five dollars. Item number ninety nine. These collar necklaces are both pretty darn cool. This one is in the rose gold, and this one is in yellow gold uh, tone. They're both marked on the hang tag, China, and then they each have the little kind of a little rhinestone in the middle. So I'm not sure who that is, but this one is right at four and three quarters across. This one looks right at five across, and then you have this extender. So you're probably looking somewhere at, you know, 12 to 16 inches on these. And here is... You know, for these being in a box, I mean, they are remarkably clean. Um, look at this. I mean, there are, oh, don't get me wrong, there are little, you know, little uh, scratches here and there. But nothing that stands out like, you know, you're really going to notice it. So, 100 is the rose gold tone for $3. 101 is the yellow gold tone for $3. This one is a little different style. This one also has a little bit of, you know, scuffing here and there. This one is gold tone. This one is marked clearly J. Crew. Yeah, let's get you the ruler on here so you can see. About four and seven eighths. I'm kind of eyeball it. About four and seven eighths here too. It is heavy. This piece is, I mean, you can hear it. It's heavy. But the shape, the color, it's great. It's $5. It's J. Crew. It's 102. The necklace on 103 has the hang tag that is marked stainless teal, my lore Italy. The pendant is not marked, but it's about, about two and a quarter inch drop. This almost has this really cool cable chain going on here with the extender and then here is the just a really high polished stainless steel looking pendant it's pretty hefty it does have just a little bit of marking not much I mean I would I would have thought for being in that box it would have but it's not it looks great it's three dollars it's one zero three I'm telling you, this is the most fun I've had with a box in a long time. There's so much cool stuff. 104, it has the same kind of uh, like a cable chain. And then this looks like stainless steel with this beautiful floral in the back. The one in the middle is gold and, you know, that gold fleck. And then the background has like gold flecks in it. Not marked, but in nice shape. And then this would be a magnetic closure. It's nice. It's three dollars and sixteen inches. And also sixteen inches is this one that's marked four ninety nine. Looks like ceramic beads, some wooden beads, seed beads. Uh, definitely tension. It's one zero five, and this is two dollars. Number 106 is 18 to 20 inches, just shy of 18 inches, just shy of 20 inches. This is one of like the tension settings where you do the weaving and we have silver tone beads and we have really beautiful light gray, almost like a peacock, a very, very light gray peacock. Um, probably freshwater pearls. Silver tone, look at this. Beautiful work. Somebody put a lot of work into that. Uh, it's three dollars. This is one zero six, and this is a nice little fashion piece. It's triple strand, well quad strand really. It has the antique kind of bronze look to it, and the acrylic beads, and then the cat's eye green beads, and it's seventeen to nineteen inches. Look at that, very mod looking, very, very spring though and fall. I think this would work for a lot of seasons. It's a dollar. It's 107. 108 is three dollars and this one is by Loft. It has like these really cool almost like a you know a modern meets you know industrial age. I mean it I like it. It's got you know rhinestones and the antique brass. It looks good. 
However, I am not a fan of anything with a cord. You guys know that. I mean, you can try to clean it and do whatever, but I'm just not a fan. So I'm only going to ask $3 for this. It is 19 to 20 inches with the extender. It's got a great look, but um, I'm only going to ask $3 for it. These next three are the same configuration. 109, 110, and 111. They all feature... Um, they're tied together with a little tag that says made in China. We have a bracelet and a necklace. The necklace is 17 and three quarter. The bracelet is seven and a quarter inches. These look like tiny, tiny pearls. You know what? They are not as gritty as I'd like them to be. And we do know that pearls are being knocked off these days. So, you know what? I can't say for sure whether or not these are 100%. They have a great look, but for now, we're just going to say for the duo, $3 each duo. So $109, $3, $110, and $111, $3. All right, gang, we've got a couple of interesting ones. The first one is 7 inches. It's by Heat. If you don't know this brand, look them up. They are absolutely ridiculously expensive. Uh, this style bracelet with the four rows is $250 on their website. This one is still in darn good shape. Look at this. And they're asking anywhere from 70s to the mid 120s. Uh, yeah, look, you know me. If I get a good deal, you get a good deal. If you're a reseller, jump on this. I don't have time to list anything, gang. This is going to be 112 and it's $17, okay? Uh, 113 is one dollar. It's by Loft, and let me show you why. Look at the back. Somebody absolutely loved this piece. It is showing a lot of wear in the back, but face up, it still looks great. So hopefully somebody will still enjoy it. And it's one dollar. Okay, these next four. This one is a clamper. It is really nice design and it has wish and stainless steel this one is eh, about two and a third and it's three dollars this one one four this one is marked l and d this is luca and danny this one does have the tension closure uh, this one is about a little under two and a half. It's a pretty good size. Uh, these are, this bracelet is part of that collection they have with the stones. I'm not sure exactly what that is. They're nice and cold though. They're absolutely beautiful. Uh, this one is item 115. We're going to ask $5 for that one. Okay, this one's in a little different league. This is Minnelli. It's uh, made in Florence. Uh, silver plated on this one. It's got the brown calf skin. This one is tension also. Uh, these are all over the board. I mean, you may see them for 65, you may see them for 250. It's absolutely insanity. Uh, I don't really, I'm personally, I'm not really into leather goods. So, um, you know, we're gonna, hopefully this goes to a good home. Of course the dogs are eating now. Oh, uh, this is item 116, uh, make some money. It's $14. And that's going to bring us to 117. All right, this piece you're going to notice is a little different pricing than the rest of this box has been. And I know I'm giving away stuff. Uh, you know, we're moving. Most folks know we're moving. Um, so I do have to reduce my inventory. Now, I do have <laughs> several pieces other by this artist. This is Mark Wasserman Samara. Uh, it's marked 925 Mexico, and I do have several of his pieces. They are beautiful. They are sterling. This one is the resin with the little flowers. In fact, there's one on uh, e on uh, eBay right now, and it's the opposite. It's the yellow with the red flowers, and we have the yellow flowers with the red resin or the red background. Uh, it is seven and a quarter. The one on eBay right now is listed at $75. Across the board, all of his stuff seems to be pretty darn uh, expensive. He seems to be a hot artist right now. So here is the front. 
Here is the back, if I can get it to flip. Nice setting. We're looking probably around in the 8 gram realm here. Uh, you know what, I think $44 is really fair. If I don't get that, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and put it with my other ones. But, you know, I'm trying to sell. I'm trying to do the right thing and sell it. Uh, but if anybody's interested, you know, we're going to have a fair price of $44. Now it's item number 117. Okay, these next two are both double strands. They're both out of the Avon family. You know, they're marked with the code, you know, where they were uh, made. This first one features little pink and these little wooden and the little silver tone beads. So the first layer has the wood and the silver tone and the second strand has the kind of the little eh, kind of like peachy brown and the little pink beads. This is 24 inches on the shortest and you know it has a lot of pop, little little pizzazz going on there. It's still in really good shape. It's two dollars. Number one one nine. It is five dollars. This again out of the Avon family. This one is double strand. This one features little pearls. The actual drop to me looks like um, like a um, red aventurine. It has acrylic beads. It's really pretty and also in really nice shape. It's $5 item 119. Item 120. It's also $2. It's out of the Avon family. The two strand and the smallest strand, obviously the shortest, is 22 inches. Again, this one has the wooden pieces, when this time with kind of like an antique gold. And then the second layer has these smaller wooden brown beads and then these little turquoise acrylic beads. Now the one thing I don't know, okay, let me see if I can't get it on here, that there is a good considerable gap between both of these rows. I'm hoping there wasn't a third strand. If not, I just think it's going to be really pretty just the way it is. So we're going to say $2 for that one. And one to one is $4. The tag just says China on it. It's 18 inches to, <clears throat> excuse me, 21 inches. Has a very nice gold tone chain. And look at this puffy heart that you can see. Hopefully you can see the colors through it because it opens and then you could see these little gems inside. So you can put, you know, anything you wanted in there pretty much, but it has little gems in it. Or, you know, little rhinestone-y things. Four dollars item, one to one. And certainly one of the most special things that came out of that box was this Connemara Marble Rosary Bracelet. It's still new, it's still in its package. Uh, it is one of the spring memory type. Uh, still has its tag still on it. J.C. Walsh and Sons. It says Ireland on the other side. It's Dublin. Uh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Here is the package. This would make a wonderful present for someone. Uh, the rosary bracelet is absolutely stunning with the marble and the few charms uh, in that gold tone right there. It is really, really pretty. And like I said, it still comes in its original packaging. It's item 122 and it is $34. Oh my gosh, gang, if you have hung on this long, thank you so much for being here. We're on the home stretch. We've got the last of this box. This one is by you and I. It is 33 to 35 inches. It features a bunch of different acrylic beads. It has a great look. I mean, look at the colors. Uh, the, to me, I, I think this would be great for spring. It is $4. It's one, two, three. Item number 124, this piece is 18 to 20 inches. It is Dana Buckman. The actual hang tag does have a little scratching on the back, but the necklace seems to be in very nice condition. 
Here's the back. That beautiful peachy orange. Very in fashion this year. It's $2. It's item 124. It's 18 to 20 inches. This next piece, 125, it's $2. It is marked Japan. Looks like we have some enameling over maybe a lighter metal, perhaps. And I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It It's kind of cold. Is it a piece of concrete? Is it some... I don't know. It's something. And it looks like we have some metal discs, perhaps. And then, you know, these feel like they have a coating on them, too. So I'm not sure what everything is here, but it is... Let's pull it through for you. Little asymmetrical here. This is on the side. It's 25 inches. So, you know, a lot of presents here. It's $2. It's one, two, five. We have a little bit of an older piece. This one's Robert Rose. I haven't had anything um, by Robert Rose in a long time. This one is a double strand. It's $2. It is 17 to 19 inches. I love these deep purple blue uh, beads and then you've got these two in the middle this one does have a little bit of wear going on at the very back so you can tell somebody actually loved it and wore it but the front is just so pretty you know to to put it in a craft lot so for two dollars you know change out the chain if you you know if, if it's uncomfortable maybe it makes you uncomfortable if not the wear isn't that bad um, it is robert rose item one two six Okay, this next piece, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Bizu, Bizu, B-I-S-O-U. Uh, I've never had that brand. I'm loving this necklace, however. It's 16 to 19 inches, double strand, acrylic. And then we have these cat's eye, kind of peachy color. I mean, this is fun. And it's on stretch cord. So, you know, you have a little... Uh, Little, little wiggle room here but look at the on the skin I mean this is these are gorgeous you've got the peach and then that pinky peach color I mean liking it six dollars one two seven this piece is 18 to 20 inches it's by icing you know they have really stepped up their game I am digging this iridescence under this peachy orange the salmon color it's great gold tone it has a lot of movement it is in fantastic shape this fashion piece is a dollar one two eight one two nine also a dollar also by icing this one is 17 to 20 inches i hope it's coming across not blue this is definitely more like a sea foam green and gold tone lots of articulation here again a gorgeous piece gorgeous condition it's great it's a it's a fun piece for spring one dollar one two nine this h mary london signed piece is 46 inches these glass beads are amazing it's on this on this gold tone but look at look at these beads this art glass is just gorgeous and you get quite a few of these beads and they do graduate from the smallest to this nice large one here too that blue that gold shimmer inside this really is a magnificent piece uh, a lot of presents it's nine dollars it's item 130 yeah i'm not even sure how to price this piece uh, it is gorgeous we're just gonna go with i mean i don't know good fashion price i guess uh it is marked r period p period and this definitely looks like artisan made i don't know this doesn't really look like a Bali piece. It doesn't really look, to me, it maybe looks Middle Eastern, perhaps, Tibet. I don't know. I'm not sure. But the style is, it's familiar. I'm not real sure what to search under, but man alive, it's gorgeous. It's 19 inches. It has kind of like just a twist where you twist on and off. 
and these look both like glass and like stone look at this is this just not fabulous or what i i absolutely love it it's 19 inches okay uh and i think you could easily extend it you know add a little chain so you know what i'm not sure i'm just gonna go with 17 dollars. it's artisan made it's got to be worth at least that with somebody's time it's item 131 we are going to round off the box with a nice, really nice surprise and a little assortment of Chico's. I haven't seen Chico's in a long time. This piece, and they're all so different to you. Just wait till you see these. This one is double strand muted gold tone. It has these black beads, look a little like drowsy. This is 40 to 43 inches. Definitely a great layering piece. This one is six dollars, one three two. Here's our next Chico's piece, one three three. This one is forty inches. It's silver tone, nice chain. And then we get all the way down here, and then we have these beautiful glass beads, and then we have these acrylic faux stones. But you know what it is all here let's let's do this well ah, don't go anywhere it is all about these glass beads i mean look at these things amazing it's seven dollars it's one three three and this chico space is pretty sassy it is 30 to 34 inches it has this kind of lightweight kind of fabric kind of strands going on here and then we get into these mirrored glass beads, this larger mirrored glass beads, and then these rondelles followed by feathers. I mean, it's so cool and funky. You just gotta love it. It's six dollars. It's one three four. This next Chico's, I told you we ended up with a nice chunk of Chico's, right? One thirty five. This necklace is thirty eight inches with the shortest and this is a double strand lots of beautiful acrylic beads some mimic you know shell then we do have some actual stone we do have uh, some beautiful tiger's eye and then we have more acrylic this is just a super super fun really nice in charge chunky necklace i mean that look at all of that that's a lot there it's nine dollars one three five okay this is the final piece and then i will do the craft for this box this last piece is chico's it still has its tag on it somebody did cut the pricing off of it it is 28 to 32 inches we have these acrylic beads they look like turquoise kind of and then we have this great bead here that is encrusted in rhinestones and then we have look at this we have this pendant that is almost three inches that is made to look like you know like a dyed agate but i think it's just like a, like glass um, it's gorgeous i don't think uh, you know it's tempered maybe i'm not sure but you gotta be real careful with that uh it's i mean this piece is amazing and it still has tags on it uh, this purple and that blue striking combination absolutely striking uh it's ten dollars it's 136 let's get that craft 137 will be the single earrings elephant oh that's really cute oh my some stone wow okay well that is the whole little thing a stone some glass cute 
Alright. Lift that up a little so you can see it. 137, single earring lot, $3. 138, bottom of the box. Looks like some pearls, some decorative beads. Looks like some, maybe some glass beads. Definitely looks like chips, either, you know, man made or stone. So, okay, that's not bad. That's quite a little bit going on in there. That's a dollar. 138. Okay, 139. This is miscellaneous. It's $5. I mean, I'm going by average price. But if we find something super duper in here, well then good, I'm glad. Huh. Well, all right then. I think so. I think you're doing really well for five bucks. Holy cow. Nice. Okay, look here. We have a cross. We have a pendant. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, we have a glass pendant. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Okay, then there's this glass piece. And that's a ring. Here's a brooch. I probably should have asked for more than five bucks. <laughs> I'm glad someone's going to get a great deal. A uh, stretch ring. Oh, a little worn. Not too bad. Uh, oh, a snake. Again, a little wear. Not too bad. Wow. Look at this. That is one heck of a pendant. Here's another ring. Okay. Here is a stick pin. I'm not sure what this little guy is. Another little pin. Another little ring. Eh. Okay, this funky tassel thing. Hey, you know what? That's a nice group, gang. It's five bucks, one three nine. And then we had a few, a few pieces that really, I'm, they just can't go into craft. Uh, someone needs to repair this. Um, okay, these are glass pearls. Uh, this peach color, almost a peach lavender. It is gorgeous. Uh, obviously, they need new ends. But look at that color. That color is so fabulous. And I think these would just get ruined in a bag. Uh, really, really scratched tight like that. A dollar, one, four, one. Excuse me, one, four, zero. Okay, this is item one, four, two. Excuse me, one, four, one. It's two dollars. This is a collar that looks like an artisan made. And at the very end, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. So this needs to be repaired. But look at all of the work somebody put into this. Amazing. It's $2, 141. And our final item would be the craft lot. The broken, the missing, and I'm telling you, there's some stuff in here. This is going to be item 142. It's four pounds, eight ounces. It's $20. You know, to start with, let me show you this. This is going to be somebody's dream to take this thing apart. Look at this. Look at all of this. It is uh, by Aldo. And holy moly, what a nightmare. But to me, there looks like there's a few holes. So I think something's missing. And there's definitely something poking back here. So it got tossed in. This one matches one of the ones that we saw earlier. It's missing some of these and it has a little corrosion going on. There, there is just so much good stuff in here, gang. But, like I said, four pounds, eight ounces, it's $20, obviously plus shipping. Everything is plus shipping. It's item number 142. Holy heck, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for sticking around. This box was huge. That's 16 pounds of stuff we went through. That's a lot of stuff. Thank you, guys. I really do appreciate you being here. It means the world to me. Everybody, be safe. Be well. Until next time, take care. We'll see you soon.